Hello YouTube, today I'm going to beat all 30 zones with one block. I call this one block machine the perfect cube. You can try it in my Steam Workshop linked below. The perfect cube doesn't just beat the zones, it beats them efficiently. Whether sliding on the ground or flying in the air, it handles with remarkable ease. Plus, it's immune to fire in the enemy's weapons, and it usually doesn't take damage from bombs. The perfect cube has two hidden grabbers with grenades, one on the front and one on the back. Unlike bombs, grenades don't explode on impact or from weapons, so you can ignore them when you're not using them. I place the grenades as low as possible while still keeping them hidden, so dropping them has a minimal effect on the center of mass. Note that after dropping the grenades, the scaled down grabbers tend to grab the machine itself. So to pick up anything else, release the grabber just before contacting the object. There are also two hidden water cannon weapons. The one in the front can kill enemies and turn the odd contraption handle, yet it's low enough power to drive with it on. The one in the back is higher powered, and short bursts can demolish castles in the Duke Steer freighters. You can also use the recoil from this water cannon for a quick speed boost. This was one of my most challenging designs, partly because it was hard to fit all the functional components without causing the symmetrical vibration glitch. It still glitches out occasionally, but I made it as stable as I could without removing any features. If they ever resolve the symmetrical vibration glitch, I might make an upgraded version of the perfect cube. There was also a strange glitch that caused the machine to drift to one side or the other when I had it sliding on one flattened half pipe. I tried several configurations of half pipes and plows, and the only way I could get it to slide straight was to use a vertical plow on each side. I found a glitch that enabled me to place the center of mass as low as I want. I vertically flattened a brace by adjusting the scale values in the machine's save file. Then I changed its start and endpoint vector values to low coordinates. The resulting brace has the center of mass of a long brace that extends below the ground, yet the brace itself fits in the bounding box. You do want to extend both endpoint vectors to the same value, otherwise the machine tends to rock back and forth when it gets off balance. This ultra-low center of mass makes it very easy to stay vertical. But the perfect cube wouldn't fly right with a low center of mass but a high center of drag. So I placed tiny vertical wings under the cube to add drag below. There are eight horizontal wings for lift, and they have a correcting effect when the machine gets tilted. If you apply lift without lateral thrust, the machine tends to level out. I set it up so that forward thrust tilts the machine downward slightly, so you can use that to correct tilt faster. I set it up this way primarily because some tilt always seems to occur eventually, and if I balanced it too closely, there'd be no way to correct the tilt when it happens. This setup also lets you knock over brittle structures like houses and windmills, and regain balanced flight. The perfect cube still flies well after you drop the weight of the grenades, but I'd like to mention a potential stumbling block. If you hit a bomb, it detonates the grenades, and the grabbers re-grab the machine itself. Sometimes the grabbers grab the machine crooked, causing it to fly crooked. If that happens, simply release the grabbers and they should reattach straight. Finally, like my previous build, Walking on Sunshine, the perfect cube can fly to the moon in Zone 30. And since the aerodynamic wings work even beyond the freeze limit, flying to the moon is much easier with this machine. I put a lot of work into balancing the centers of mass, drag, and thrust, finding ways around the glitches, and doing other fine tuning. So if you enjoy the perfect cube, please upvote it on Steam. I also drew two versions of a custom logo for the thumbnail and preview image on the Steam Workshop. So if nothing else, I hope you enjoy my artwork. With that, the perfect cube beats all 30 zones, each in under 30 seconds. But this video wouldn't be complete without a mission to the moon.
So that's the perfect cube. Please don't forget to try it in my Steam Workshop, linked below. Have fun!